Let's everybody do 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 crypto muscle do 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 pumping iron pumping crypto do 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 fake lasers. That's what it's all about. Crypto muscle. All right. Where's it at? There it is. Crypto muscle and the Crypto Muscle Network coming to you with another YouTube video. And you know what else? I don't just sing it. I bring it each and every time. No one creates content like I do. No one can bring it like I do. And that's what I do what I do. All right. Because, you know, platforms can be duplicatable, but not Crypto Muscle. Just saying. I'm not your cookie cutter YouTuber, but anyhow, subscribe to everything I got going on. I got channels, I got Telegram, I got podcasts, I got news, music, everything that you need right here. I am the crypto outlaw in this space. All right, all in your face. Let's talk about it. Crypto, Death Watch, Novatech, period. All right. I'm talking about, uh, normally I would tie in like Coin Market Bull and Max Spread, Fusion, things like that, Drip, um, which are all going to die in 2023. But I got a Max Spread video later on today. I got a Coin Market Bull later on today. So, Fusion, there. Nah. I think they're getting ready, they're, you know, ready to ramp things back up again for a 3.0. And, uh, I think it's going to fail once again. And then that just leaves me with Novatech. All right. We'll, we'll do more in depth of uh, Fusion another time. But today we'll just talk about Novatech. All right. Because this is the aftermath of the famous April 1st, April Fool's joke that Cynthia has pulled on you guys. And so we're going to look at the aftermath now, what's transpired since. She kind of just said, well, you guys want your trading accounts, but uh, you'll get slivers of those trading accounts. We'll start with 5% of that, right? And so, and, um, so she did <laughs> technically, you know, stand by her word, right, about opening up the trading accounts. But technically, right? Technicality. And so uh, it was kind of laughable that it was still an April Fool's joke on you because... 5% of it. I mean, that's like nothing. And, you know, and I read a post uh, earlier about how a person only has like a $4,000 trading account balance, right? And because there's a $250 minimum withdrawal now for, you know, earnings that you came, you know, 5%, but I guess not earnings, but from the trading account, like 5% doesn't even make even 250 of that so it was pretty sad for that person that came and experienced pulling that out because you know it fell short of five percent which came out from like a forty two hundred dollar balance it only came out to 210 bucks so that person came and pulled out five percent so that person that desires to probably want to get this amount out four thousand dollars can't and it's got to wait around much much longer just to even hit the minimum right but supposedly they raise it 10 percent next month and all that i don't know it's just a bunch of crap to just delay the inevitable all right and so uh let me see what we got here where is that here we go so this post came some of you are moving your funds manually you will only complicate the process for yourself Let's allow Novatech to complete the process so that we can be ready for Monday. Well, that was over the weekend. All right, and then you got this knucklehead here, you know, kind of blaming you, saying that you don't know what you're doing if you're trying to do this and that and that. The best way to go about it is just compounding that. Like, he talks all this shit, but he has shit for brains. Yeah, so choke on that, dap, right? So, they uh, re-uttered those words again about, you know, if you move your stuff, you're jumping the gun. So, if you manually move your process, your funds, while Novatech was doing their processing over the weekend, you jumped the gun. 
The system was programmed to do it, and because you manually did it, the system still will take what it was programmed to take and move it into your trading account. The bright side of the 5%, you who unintentionally did the manual move, is that you will have a larger trading balance, which means more weekly profits. If you do receive it, right? Then the lesson learned is to be anxious for nothing and patient for everything. All right. And so it kind of reminds me of the cash of X because when you look at cash of X, what do they tell you to do? Oh, you want a bigger payday? Yep. You're going to uh, upgrade or if not upgrade, you're going to, you know, boost that, boost that up account. All right. To the next pack, get that larger pack. You know why? Because you're going to have, you're going to earn bigger weekly profits. You're going to have a bigger payday. Right? And then look what happens. Nothing's been coming out of cash of X. <laughs> and it's funny because when you really, really think about it, all right, how is Novatech going to honor all these people that's going to be, you know, having increased or larger trading accounts now if they decide they want to take it out? I know that they are allowed, they're doing this process of, of, allowing like a, a tiny amount to come out as little as possible which sucks because when you really think about it Novatech did it to themselves because if they didn't run into these sort of issues months ago especially with you know foreign countries and such like Canada California issues right and, you know, I know it's not a country I'm just saying uh, and then other provinces around the world um you know having issues where you know they're not allowing Novatech to me it's just funny how uh, how things are that they created this problem for themselves you know when when uh, they decided to slow the withdrawals and you know there's all these little things that they did them to themselves over time, but yet you have dildos like that dap dude kind of make it, he kind of belittles everybody trying to make it look like he's the most intelligent, but he's just in the inner inside pocket of Cynthia is simply what it is because the way he's so nonchalant about everything, he just reminds me how a piece of shit he is, just like how Justin you know, of Cash FX acted the same exact way nonchalant arrogant piece of shit and look what happens right cash is not paying and justin's nowhere to be seen i wouldn't doubt that that dab dude would disappear when this shit hits the fan even worse than where it is right now you know that's how much a piece of shit he is all right so just saying uh let's see what else they got going on here they're working on an issue regarding depositing funds using BTC with Quickie Pay. Be patient while they look into it. So that was the newest thing there. Let me see if they got anything else going on here. All right. So supposedly they were supposed to open things back up when it came to um, allowing that TA account to open up, right? They said from the 1st to the 5th, right? But yet, it wasn't even open till Monday today, or actually yesterday. And Monday, you know, which was Monday, they allowed that at that point. And yeah, everybody that had pending withdrawal uh, balances pending, right? Before, what did they say, March 12th? All got cycled back into the trading account balance so they could cleanse the books how convenient is that huh or I guess cleanse the queue uh, how convenient is that uh, to just wipe that clean and just put it all back in and, and fuck everybody over you know so yeah good one Novatech for cleaning the books on that one but will this clear this glut of withdrawals that it will be coming temporarily all right are they going to show are they going to pay out within this you know 
the old 48 hour time frame like they used to they might for a couple weeks or so maybe and then as more and more withdrawals especially with larger amounts start stacking up once again you know how funny it's going to be when you're going to start stacking it once again a week you know goes into next week another fry yay right stacking it all right holy shit now you're back up to three pending withdrawals once again i thought you guys cleared this shit and next thing you know a fourth one i wouldn't doubt this thing would happen all over again like a temporary you know, all these actions temporarily clear the queue in order to stack it back up once again so this bullshit is going to be done real soon 2023 death watch all right it's going to really be the year of the end of nova tech you had a good run run is done and uh let's face it nova tech is running out of money here all right if they have already not done so because they're really pushing the line of you know hey don't worry guys and all these different sort of bonuses that they pay out, I guess, balance-wise to people, right? If you're in a team diamond club and all that other stuff. So, yeah, good luck with all that bullshit. But there's just too much weirdness going on here with the action that they're doing for the sake of, you know, making sure that Nova Tech can still continue to pay on and on and on, Right? And, uh, I don't know, it's just, they're, they're making too many oddball, weird moves. And, of course, you're going to have the people like Dap to, you know, be the positive man and, and be like, yeah, man, oh, don't worry about it, guys, you know, the only reason why things are this and that and this is because you are the reason why. Like, he's belittling everybody, and I don't know why you guys don't see that, you know, so... Like I said, screw that guy. The aftermath on the other end of this is that uh, the 5th is tomorrow. So any more sort of TA withdrawal request will be died down till next month. As it only applies first to the 5th. And uh, yeah, larger withdrawals minimum now is 250. So you're going to have larger withdrawals that come out. And there's going to be some that won't be able to do withdraw. Because 250 is a pretty big amount, sizable amount to do a withdrawal. So those people are screwed over this week. And so I guess uh, the newbies that, you know, can't experience doing the withdrawal because they got to have a big stake in it if you're a newbie and barely got started. So then those newbies, tech, you know, majority of them join in not with a large amount they want to join in to try to see how much passive income they can pull out of it so those newbies won't be able to experience those withdrawals which was the intention of what cynthia was doing rather than pay at the top of the queue for the furthest back date she flips it and pays the newest dates so all this oddball bullshit stuff they're doing here it makes you scratch your head and wonder what is next. All I got to say is it, it won't start out that way, but it's going to end up being the same thing that happened just a mere few weeks ago. And then we'll be back having this conversation once again about, hey, remember April Fool's Day and the joke was on you? Well, the joke will still be on you regardless of what happens here, here on 4. And so... All I got to say is that, man, I called this shit out a while ago, 2023, Nova Tech will be done. I know it's bold proclamation, but man, the truth hurts. I know, I know. And uh, I've called it on this Death Watch series. So, Terrell, if you're listening to this, you know, how's Shine XL doing for you? All right, Nova Tech's going down 2023, and you know it. And so, with that, comment down below. And, oh, yeah, stay tuned as the world continues to turn. All right, Crypto Death Watch 
Novacek dies in 2023.